Hey, this is Marloom's Creations and today's tutorial I will be showing you how to create a baby boy or baby girl on your Rainbow Loom or Crazy Loom or Wonder Loom. The supplies you will need for today's baby tutorial are a skin colored band for your baby. You will need white for the diaper, pink or blue if you want a baby boy you will be choosing blue and pink for a girl and you will also need two yellow or whatever color straps you would like to use for the diaper straps and for today I am using the e-beads that I use in almost all of my tutorials and you will need two blue or whatever color eye you would like your baby to have and if you do not own e-beads you can just wrap a black band around your hook four times and then you would grab another black band and wrap that around your hook four times as well and then you would grab your baby's skin color and thread those onto there and that would become your baby's eyes but for today I will be using the e-beads and I, I know I show you in every video but I'll show you in this one as well that I use dental floss and I thread the dental floss through a bead and then I grab the skin color place the tip back through the e-bead and then I just pull and that is how I get my little e-beads onto my bands. So now we will begin once you have gathered your supplies by showing you how to create the actual baby. So the first thing we are going to do is place a skin color band on that peg. Now if you want your baby to have hair you can change these two to a brown, a dark brown or what you know, a light brown as well and if you use two of those and place it on this peg then rather than straps it will look like baby hair sticking up that's optional today I'll just leave it like this and then the next step is grabbing two more skin colors and placing it from here to here And we turn in on the third one. For the neck. Now we're switching to either blue or pink depending on if you're making a boy or a girl or you can do green it doesn't matter what color you choose. So we did the two shoulders and then one, two, three down. Now we're going to grab the diaper straps and we're going to take a single yellow band and wrap it around that peg only two times and this one as well. And now we are switching to the diaper and we are going down one two, in the middle we go down three and on the right we go down two
Now onto the baby's legs. We go down one, two, three, and then on the last, we wrap a band four times. Same on here, three down, and then wrap a band. Just realized that I did not show you how to make the baby's arms so we're just going to remove this last leg of the baby because we only need three pegs and you are going to grab two pinks it just makes it easier I know a lot of you don't like to do it on your hook go down two with pink and then one down with the skin color and then you wrap that last one four times around then loop that remove it only loop up to the pink don't don't grab the skin color so loop the tan pink pink and remove that so we realized that we that I forgot to show you how to make the baby's arms and we removed one of the baby's legs so that we can use the three pegs and I just made two of the baby's arms and once you've made both of them you can then place it on the one, two, three, four, the fifth pin on both sides because baby needs arms and then do not forget to replace your baby's leg so it's one more set of tan and then the band wrapped around four times on that peg. So for the leg it's one, two, three sets of tan and then the capping band. Now we can begin placing the triangle bands and then we will loop. First, I like to place a single tan band on here. So it's the third peg down from the top. It keeps the face together. Then I'm placing the baby's eyes. I have two e-beads this time wrapped on one band. And I place it here to here. If you do not have an e-bead, you can just wrap any color, two color bands. So if you want black eyes or blue, you can do two bands wrapped around your hook four times and then thread it onto a skin color and that can be your baby's eyes and now we are going to place the triangle bands the first one is a tan color from here to here so it's the one two three four five six on both sides and this one over here and then you're going to wrap it around twice and then on these three you just leave it single we are not placing a capping band on these three if you have remove them because we need to do something with this diaper strap so let's begin to loop go under your capping band and grab the bottom two and loop forward And grab these bottom two and loop forward and these place um, that triangle band move that out of the way move that forward and we are stopping at this peg the peg that we have the diaper strap do not go forward and don't worry that we didn't place a triangle band I will show you what to do after 
reach in here and grab just the bottom two bands and bring those forward. Bring these forward. This one. Push back that capping, that triangle band. Reaching for the white. Again, push back that triangle. Bring, and we're stopping again at the strap, the diaper strap. You can grab these and bring it to the second peg, not the one above, because I noticed this will be soggy and it will be sagging when we loop it, so bring it to the second peg. Then reach in here and grab the two whites and you will also bring that forward. So we brought both of those bands to the second peg. Then you can bring... Actually, I think you can leave this one here because now we are going to fiddle with this diaper strap. So just do not loop this one just yet. Take your hook, go to the side, and grab those two yellow bands and bring them up. The same on this side. Grab those two yellow bands and bring them up. Now, take your hook, just remove just two, just the top two. See how we have the bottom two and the top two of the white. Just take your hook and just remove the top two straps, like this. And now grab another white band, and you will place the triangle band right there. Now replace this one that you have in your hook on here, and then replace those. Once you have replaced those, don't forget to reach in here and grab that and bring that forward. Now the baby will have a diaper strap. Reach and pull that capping band away, that triangle band, and reach for the pink. And this one. Reach in, grab only the bottom two pink bands, bring it to the middle, and this one as well. We're reaching in for the neck. I'm going to push back all those pink bands. And just grab the two skin color bands, whichever one you chose. Now we're aiming for these bands right here. And you can see them moving inside the middle. And just bring them forward. I just loop forward from here. Make sure when you loop the middle that the eyes are out of the way. Back into the neck area, reach for the other top two, mine go to the right, then the other two, mine go to the left. Push back all of these bands and just grab these two bottom bands and bring those forward. It's important that once you are here, you avoid that eye band. Make sure you push that out of the way and grab these two bottom skin colored bands. And then bring these to the middle. Again push back all those bands and just grabbing the two skin colored bands. You're pushing back the eye band. And then once you have reached the top of the baby's head, you are going to place your hook through all those bands. Make sure it's all the band. Oops. And then you are going to grab that single hook, I mean that single band, don't know what I'm saying today, and going to make a slip knot. So you grab this first band and just bring it over and you can pull. Don't pull too hard. Some of these bands are not made well. And then there is your baby. And you see that this can become a charm, but if you use dark color next time, a couple of these, it could be the baby's hair. So I'm going to remove the baby from the loom, but remember to use the back of your hook, not where the hook is, the back of it, and then slowly remove her. I like to remove them slowly because these caramel bands are very loose for some reason, and I don't want to stretch them more. I have removed your baby girl from your loom or baby boy. This is what she would look like. This is the one we made today. I am going to show you how to make a binky two ways or um, I'm sorry and um, I'm also going to show you how to place a headband on her and make a binky two ways so the first way that I invented two months ago to make a binky is I used an e-bead 
a pink one and I placed it on my dental floss and then I used a piece of um, a, a band that was pink that matched again any color you want and I placed it on there and I pulled it until it looked like a little loop so there's a bigger loop and a smaller loop and then I placed my hook through the back of my baby where the mouth area would be which would be somewhere right here and I grabbed that bigger loop and I pulled the bigger one through the baby and then you can secure that with an S clip in the back and just be careful because it can slide through and that's the baby's little binky the second way to make a binky is you take a single pink band or blue if it's a boy and wrap it around a pin two times and grab another single band and bring that one through this is easier on the hook for me and then you're just going to create a slip knot and when you pull this part can be the baby's little binky loop and I will remove this one to show you so you place the hook through here grab the bigger loop loop it through your baby and then it sort of looks like the baby has a binky. Just stretch the uh, loops open and adjust it. And then it can look like a pacifier. And so those are two ways you can come up with a binky. You can use your band. And if you don't understand what I did on the peg, it's just basically you wrap a band around your hook two times and then you grab another band and you thread those two onto one band and then you make a slip knot over here like that not too hard and then that is your cute little binky or you can do this way with the bead here's with the bead and here's with the band so I know you a lot of you don't have a bead now for the baby's headband what I did was I grabbed two pink bands, if she's a girl, and placed it on the, on the peg like that. And then grabbed another pink band and I did a slip knot no I did not actually. I take The, I take the single band and I tie it into a knot. This part is a little tricky because when you tie it into a knot it turns into a bow for the baby's hair. My hands are slippery. Be stretch it out a little bit. Okay, I think I got it this time. There. You tie it into a knot and then it's a bow. And then you can remove this. And you can grab your baby and use your fingers like this. And then you can place it on your baby's head like so. It does slide off. I have not figured out a way how to keep it on. Maybe if you secure it in the back with an S clip. You can maybe take an S clip and try to secure that in the back. But that is how you make a baby girl or a baby boy. As far as the bottle, I picked up these cute little um, baby bottles at the dollar store. 
in the um, baby shower section for the little favors. If you do not know where to find these, what I'll, um, the other way I made a baby bottle, I can make another video because I don't have the beads with me right now, is I took two pony beads and I hot glued two of them together and then I put a another baby uh, uh, e-bead on top of the two pony beads that were hot glued and then I had the baby hold them. So you can you, you can just improvise. You can use pony beads as well. But this is how you make a baby boy or girl in your rainbow loom. And I hope it wasn't too hard. And thank you for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.